Hello, subscriber friends. I hope everyone had a great Halloween. Fun, fun celebration. Okay, what I want to uh, talk about uh, in this video, this is a and been an ongoing exploration for me into the state of which things exist in. Uh, not just the quote-unquote target, but also numbers, particularly zero and one. What state does zero exist in, and what state does one exist in? And this has been, this these have been some ongoing experiments that I've done for many years to um, attempt to experience um, some degree of what that that those states might be. So I've done uh, many different types of experiments. This is one of them that I'm that I have been doing for the past couple of years, and what. Uh, what I do is I go to a, a random number generator site. I put in uh, the, the lower limit is zero, the upper limit is one. So the only results I'm going to get is either zero or one. And it will be generated randomly. My task uh, that I've developed for myself, but what the, the reason that I'm using this is that I want to begin to uh, experience and decipher the state, um, the individual states of these two, the state of zero and the state of one. And if they do exist in different states, which I'm of the opinion that they do, I will begin to experience the difference between the two. And if I can experience the difference between the two, then I can attempt to experience what that will be in the next generation of random selection. So I'm doing a couple of different things. Uh, I'm attempting to perceive the state of these, the, the next state that will be generated by this random number generator. And that, that's how I put it to myself in the experiment. I want to experience what will be, what will be generated next. And that will be either a zero or a one. So this is kind of how it, how it looks here. My, my time stamps from some experiments that I did today. Let me move along here. I'm kind of getting my mind, getting my mindset, I'm looking, I'm bringing my awareness into, into my brain because I'm not, sh I'm, I'm, I'm locating the area of my brain that um, can, can, can do this kind of processing. Okay, so here is where I experience the first one. And this will be this will be described in more detail further. So I go in real time. And I generate it and it's the one. So now that's okay. Now I want to go and do it again. I'm getting myself into the space. These aren't spectacular. This is a 50-50 chance, but it's not about that. It's not about that. All right, I got one more here. I'm getting into the part of my brain. It's not about guessing it right, and I'll, I'll describe that in a sec. Okay, so there it was, was zero. What I experienced, um, How can I say it? 
labeled it as zero, I guess, or described it as the state of zero. That's probably the better way to put it. I'm going to go, and there it was. Okay, so that that's how I ended that one. Now, again, the, the importance of the experiment isn't to be able to guess, is it a zero or a one? The whole purpose of the experiment is to perceive the state that, it, that one exists in and a state that zero exists in. And so with, with, this, with this in the experiment, once um, the, the perception has been established, then the state can be explored more. Like here, with the with with my theory that the state of the input or that quote unquote target exists in a state of gravitational radiation or within a gravitational wave and the reason why i am exploring that notion is because in this example here um, what they're showing are two they're showing gravity as, as it is understood that you have a mass and it is um, creating an impression in space here. That the weight of this is creating an impression within the fabric of space. And then the the planets are are orbiting uh, with, within that um, impression, and the quote unquote target um, in my theory exists as an impression, just as this example here is here. This has made an impression in space. And there it sends out gravita uh, waves, gravitational waves. Here's another example of these two large, heavy uh, objects that are creating an impression within space, and the energy of them is creating gravitational waves that move at the speed of light. Uh, these are examples based on uh, scientific discovery of the detection of such waves though my theory is that uh, um, all things create an impression in space it's their detectability then is the is scientifically uh, what is um, they're, they're falling behind. So as a remote viewer or, well, we'll just say in quote unquote remote viewing terms, the target exists as an impression in space and time. That gravitational wave or what we, can, can, we would term a, a gravitational wave exists and um, and we detect it. We are somehow able to receive it, detect it, in uh, and experience it in the brainstem, in the dentate gyrus, as a proprioception. We begin to experience it, moving at the speed of light. And we, and we experience it. That is my theory at this point of the state that the input exists in and I'm exploring the state of numbers. The, the, the other experiment that I did 
a long time ago with numbers was with the use of a, a dowsing rod. So I had a just one dowsing rod, and I had one that was very uh, sensitive. So very, it picked a very, very subtle, subtle movements, and that's what that's what I wanted. So I had to make one that was extremely sensitive to any type of signal. And I had uh, two. Um, I had set up an experiment with two. With, uh, as a binary exper experiment with two options. And I was utilizing the dowsing rod to uh, an indicator of, of a, a slight impulse to the right would be uh, one answer, a slight impulse to the left would be another answer. Uh, meaning it was, it, was the, it was the detection and experience of the most uh, subtle... Uh, impulse that I could that I could find using a really primitive primitive device. Otherwise, I'd need some some you know, high end technology, uh, which would be real nice. So, but anyway, the, it's the same it's the same type of experience or, or experiment as this one, because again, I'm not the the main thing is not to uh, be able to say it's a zero or a one. And, and rack up a, a lot of success that is way outside of chance uh, and show off and say, oh, isn't that cool? That, that's not interesting to me and that's not cool. The only purpose of it is, is to experience the state of zero, be able to identify it, and the, and experience the state in which one exists in and be able to identify it and capture it and record it and put it out into the collective. Have that um, available. That's my job. That's why I'm here. To do certain things like this, catch them, record them, and publish them so there so that there is a record of it so that's my video for today I hope everyone is safe and doing well and uh, the best is yet to come thank you so much